Okay. So, to prevent future events, let's practice this. Hat? 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 Uh, I need that kind of thing in my brain before I try to do a large climb and jump backwards. <laughs> Alright, hopefully I won't have that problem again. Okay. Mine. Grab it. Oh, you don't need to climb down. Just grab it. I believe in you. I believe in you. Hot! Gersh, darn it. I just want the thing. <laughs> oh, what am I picking up? Oh, hi. Oh. Yeah, ha! <laughs> I wasn't even ready for this one. Alright. Sorry if anyone's down there. It was not my intention. No, climb down. It gives you an egg. Uh, gives you. There we go. It gives you a prompt to climb down, but it disappears. It's like the same issue I run into with near Automata, where it's like, oh, you can you can open the chest, but only in this very specific standing position. And I'm like, ah, where is it? Ah, uh, no, back over here. Uh, hi. People. Whoa. You're an eagle person. Huh. I vaguely saw his silhouette from above, and I think I got thrown off by the yellow thing. I thought he was a Goron. <laughs> from a distance, I thought that was a Goron. That's a lot of people. Oh, it's a stable. And a donkey. There's a Holy crap, there's a lot of people here, actually. And a dog. And donkey. Huh. They've got, they have a little ribbon outside on the stake. What is that? Maybe a piece of debris that even I sent flying down here, for all I know. Huh. I'll talk to you guys in a bit, I just want to look around. There we go. Oh. A rusty halberd, a rusty polearm that likely used by knights from the age past. The spearhead is in bad shape due to prolonged exposure to the elements, so its durability is low. I'm not, I'm not gonna pick it up if it has five. Ooh! <laughs> There's hiding weapons behind rocks. Woodcutter's axe. I do have a decent number of sledgehammers. I want to keep the Boko Club around because it's useful for just rapid rapid attacks. This because it's a spiked variant. I think I'm gonna throw away one of these hammers. Just because I, I don't know which one it was, but I, I've definitely used one of these hammers durability wise. Oh, I guess you can. Can you check your hammer durability? I don't think you can. Can you? No, that. That's- that's what it is. I thought- I saw this blue bar before and thought it might have been a hint of durability, but that's just what- It's just, uh, signifying that you equipped it, and that's it. That's fine. I want- I want to keep the torch, the leaf, and the axe around for utility reasons, and the hammer, but that's four items out of eight, so... Whew. Definitely looking forward to increasing my inventory size, I suppose. Where's that treasure? Oh, you weren't here a second ago. Sabota. Ah. Oh, she's not voice acted. Never mind. So, Savota, I'm Kalisa, legendary treasure hunter. Right now, I've got my eye on the Vo at this stable. Ma. I wouldn't trade any of them as treasure, though, except maybe you. Ah. I look at the Vo at the stable with the treasure hunter's eyes. Not much value in these runts, sad to say. Ma. That's, that's it. That's it, though. All right. Enjoy your adventures, lady. First named character I've ever talked to, and she is out of here. And I think she's wearing yoga pants. Hi. You look interesting. Oh. Greetings, traveler. How about a song? Oh. The, the, that there, on your hip. No, I'm sorry, it's nothing. I didn't mean to pry. Are you a bird? Oh. Have you never met a Rito before? Odd. My name is Kas. As a bard, I spend my days traveling this land in search of ancient songs. Have you heard of the ancient songs of Hyrule? Oh, we're going... 
o Ocarina of Time? Anxious songs? Oh. Anxious songs. Songs that sing the praises of a hero who beat back the calamity in age past. One of the more famous among them recounts the events of 10,000 years ago. I happen to know a song about the ancient hero. It was passed down to me by my teacher. Do you care to hear it? Let's hear it. Oh. Excellent. Without further ado... So we actually got a glimpse just now at the four, uh, the, the four divine beasts. One of which we saw earlier, that giant thing walking around the desert is clearly the same thing that was in the bottom left corner at the end there. So that's, that's the big attack on Calamity again in 10,000 years ago. Thank you for listening. Please come back and hear it again sometime. So I can, I can actually revisit it periodically. Alright. This game has bird people. Also, the coloring is awesome. That color scheme for that character is really neat, actually. Hey, do you talk, puppy? I mean, you never know. It's worth checking. It looks at me. No, it doesn't. Never mind. It stopped. Oh, it what? Okay, that was weird. Did I just make you love me? Can I pet you? I want to pet you. Why did you pink? What does it mean? What does the world mean? Oh, it sneezed. <laughs> oh, it's following me around. Oh, that's neat. 
Oh, that's neat. Hey, uh, you were snoring a moment ago? Hey, did you happen to see any of my friends? There are four travelers named Olaf, Flaxel, Klonolo, and Palm. His name's Sasami. I don't know. We were all walking together when some monsters suddenly jumped us near Kokot Plateau Path. I took off running and didn't stop until I got here. I thought my friends were right behind me, but I turned around. They were nowhere to be found. You don't think the monsters could have... No. They're fine. They'll be back any second now. Hey, if you happen to run into any of my friends on the road, please let them know Sasami is waiting for them here. Ne oh, there, there, we have a side quest missing in action. Which I assume doesn't show up on the map, right? That seems like the type of thing you just have to find? Yeah, I think so. So isn't this the plateau? Or is it was it not called Kokot? Or, or whatever he said. I can imagine that maybe his friends... Was there four other friends or three other friends? I imagine they're, they probably were near the plateau, got attacked, split up, and there's probably one of them in each of the different regions around the plateau. Or at least that's one conceivable outcome. Perhaps. I kind of want to make my way down there just because I found it already. And I kind of want to go further into the desert and take a look around if I can survive? It might be that if I go down there I might have heat problems. So I may need to check around here to see if there's any heat resistant stuff. So they've got torches and little supplies. Just as a reminder, this place can be useful. Oh, who are you? Oh my goodness, there's so many people. Well, you, well, you look really slow, so I'm gonna talk to this guy. I'd like to travel the desert to sell my wares, but I haven't found this pack animal yet that won't get stuck in the sand. I sell bugs. What? It's a living. Can I sell to you? Can't hurt to look. Oh, I can sell stuff for money. Oh. And I could be like, boom, and I could sell like all of these teeth for some some sum of money. Let's see. And the price is very quite a bit. Although I don't know what's good and what's bad in price yet because I haven't actually found anything to buy yet. Although I'm sure that's inside. Oh, there we go. There you go. Rubies and sapphires are especially valuable, and. Opals and amber. Okay, so that's that's a direct that's a direct order of uh, increasing value. Flint, amber, opal, luminous stone, ruby, sapphire. Okay, still don't want to sell anything until I know that I can't do anything else with it because it's probably useful for something. Especially if they talk about like elements of power and stuff like that. Because that's ice and that's fire and that's water and that's it's decorative. <laughs> Dark. Souls of the dead. Stuff like that. You can sell food? I can sh I can sell sh uh, simmered fruit. Whereas, how much does fruit actually value at? It's, it values at garbage is what it values at. So you can grab a bunch of crappy fruit and then cook it up into a more powerful dish and then sell it for larger sums of rupees. That could be a way of making money in this game. At the moment though, I'm gonna wait till I actually have things I wanna buy. You all set? Mm. I got some darners. That's about it. See for yourself. Warm and cold darners. Dragonfly with a special organ that causes it to sweat profusely, cooking it with monster parts for an elixir that will raise your core temperature so you can resist the cold. Or resist the heat. Heat resistance elixir. I may want those for nearby areas. You all set? Goodbye. Oh. Sounds good, see ya. I'll have to see if we can keep track of them. Also, I totally thought that was a female at first. It's fine. Aha! I've scared off your donkey and now you cannot work. <laughs> Apparently that's a thing I can do. Hopefully these people are easy to find. You were real slow. Hey, I don't believe I've made your acquaintance. He's got a little pull-out tray. The name is Beetle, but you can call me actually- let's just stick with Beetle. Even, but even if you forget my face, you can remember me with my beetle-shaped backpack. Yeah, yeah. Despite these dangerous times, you'll find me traveling all over Hyrule to fulfill your shopping needs. I stock many special bugs and must-have items for travelers, and I always charge a fair price, or my name's not Beetle. <laughs> I also buy all sorts of things, 
If you're in need of rupees, gemstones in particular fetch a high price. How can I help you today? Look what I've got. Are they the same prices as before? I think they are. Okay, so I don't think I have to worry about bartering differently from person to person then. And I can make... I can make a decent chunk of uh, money right now if I want to sell my sapphires and gemstones, but I just don't know if, I, if that's a good idea. I may need to research that first, because I'm worried that it, I might get myself in trouble. The winter wing butterfly. Powdery scales of its butterfly's wings cool the air around it. Watching it flutter around snowflakes is a thing of beauty. Cook it with monster parts for a heat-resistant elixir. So darners and butterflies are two separate things. Same price, though. Hardy lizard. It's, uh, temp temporarily increases your maximum hearts. That's neat. Otherwise, he sells arrows. Thank you for business. Uh, do you need anything else? <laughs> Thank you very much. Hope to see you again soon. So, I, judging by his name and his introduction and his tutorial messages, I get, I'm guessing he's a more common character. But at least it looks like the resistance items aren't super rare. So I was a little worried. What's Who are you, then? Welcome to my stable. We deal in all things horse-related. We also double as an inn. Huh. I haven't seen your face before. Do you know about the stable system? I don't. Ah. Then allow me to explain. You can board your horse companions with us, then summon them as you please from our network of stables. You may, uh, you may have come across wild horses during your travels. If you catch one and ride it here to register it, it will become your horse companion. One person can board up to five horses. And you'll be able to swap horses in and out as you please. Do you know how to catch a wild horse? Catching horses. Uh. Okay. To catch a wild horse, all you have to do is approach it from behind, slowly, so it doesn't notice you, and then hop on. But these are wild animals we're talking about, so if the horse you're riding starts to act up, try soothing it. It will eventually settle down, and when that happens, bring it to me. Uh. It may take a while for wild, wild horses to get used to being ridden. They may change directions or slow down on their own until you earn their trust and respect. If your horse disobeys your direction, you want to gently redirect it and then calm it. And if you continue interacting that way, the horse will naturally begin to trust you and become more obedient. Ah. That's all I can tell you, you about this, the subject, stranger. Aye. Welcome to our stable. If you've come to, uh, with a wild horse, you can register it with us here. Or if you want to stay for a rest, please head to the to counter inside. What'll it be? So I don't have a horse, so that's it. Ah. Alright, we'll be here if you need us. We're learning new things. So I take it I can't like rent these ones or something? Oh, they're in sync with each other, that's terrifying. They're rebel horses. So you got two big bulky horses and one kind of adorable donkey. I kind of want a donkey. <laughs> oh, look at them. Saddles. Is that a recipe? It almost looks like amber or rock salt, probably rock salt. Blue mushroom wheat butter makes a stew of some kind. Huh. Do I have rock salt, don't I? Does it look like that? It is rock salt, okay. It's rock salt. I don't have a blue mushroom. So that, whatever that is, I don't have. Sure. Butter and wheat. Also don't have any of those. I have one of those ingredients. Still. Probably want to keep track of those. Surprised I can't read it. I also don't think I can take pictures of it. Still. That's a giveaway. That's got to be butter. Which I, you almost certainly have to buy or get from drops or something. He just changes counters. <laughs> I thought there was a second person working inside. Uh. Buddy, got any rush rooms? What's the matter? Uh. See, I... I'm tired. Tired of going normal speed, I mean. First tried rush rooms when I was five years old. And come to think of it, I ate them every day since, since without fail. Back in the day, I'd win every race I ran thanks to those things. Uh. Cut to 55 years later. Now I can barely drag these bones off the ground without those rush rooms. No matter how many I eat to fortify myself, I'm just too old to get up the cliffs to pick rush rooms when they, where they grow. That's why I'm letting all able-bodied sorts know that I'm in the market for them. 
I'll give a diamond for 55 rush rooms. What's worth the effort, right? If you want to do business, just come talk to me. I'm always here. 55 rush rooms. The rush room rust. How many, how many do I have? Definitely not that many. But how many do I have? Wrong menus. There we go. Um, that's the sun shroom. Zap shroom. Oh, they're down here. Rush rooms. Oh, I only have, I have four. <laughs> also, they're weirdly categorized. Oh, don't I have to... Sort. There we go. I, I forgot that it's not auto-sorted. I, I have to tell it to do that each time. There we go. Now it makes sense. That's still not the thing you cooked there, though, right? That was genuinely blue, and it was like a proper, like, bell cap. Alright. So now I need rush rooms for that guy if I want a diamond, which is probably pretty valuable. And I want blue mushrooms if I want to work on this recipe just to learn what it is. Lots of beds around here. Sleep in the open air, covered in dust. I take it that it's because, oh yeah, this place is dark and lamp lit, so it makes it so that it looks like a... Let's try something, by the way. People have mentioned brightness issues. I can't change the brightness from here, can I? Screen brightness cannot be set while connected to a TV. Well, isn't that kind of obnoxious? Well, that's probably gonna break my recording. Let's look into that between episodes. Whoops. Oh, well. What kind of- what kind of console doesn't let- or video game doesn't let you just change its brightness on the fly? That's- in, that's inherently weird. But yeah, this place is, uh, is, it's, it's in a sandy, stormy area, so... Once you get a dark area and can fill it with light, suddenly you could just see all of the stuff drifting through the air all the time. This is one of those places where if you ever if you ever grinded your teeth a little bit, you would feel sand between them. You can oh. chew on it. You can chew on the air here. <laughs> Welcome. Will you be staying with us? A regular bed will cost you twenty. Soft is forty. What's the soft bed? Huh? The soft bed is a special bed we're proud to offer here at the ta stable. It costs more than regular bed, but you'll wake up more energized. Will you be staying with us? I don't have money. Also, you didn't tell me what energized means or why I would rest at a bed. Ah. Come see us again. Maybe I'll look up what beds do. I assume it just heals you. But maybe not. Maybe it gives you bonus hearts or something. Oh no, this poor guy. Oh, that's Beetle. Never mind. He just sort of went back and forth a bit. I thought it was somebody else stumbling into town and I almost felt bad. But you've done this to yourself. Okay, I took a quick look to confirm and yes, you do use gems for crafting and it is worth holding on to, so let's be careful about that. But, I do have a ton of some of these things. So let's at least burn into my supply of some of these items. Maybe take some of them down to only being like 10? There we go. That'll give me some money. I'm gonna hold on to old gem related things for now until I'm more certain. But at least random body part stuff I might as well sell. So many dead book hoplins, what have I done? I find it noteworthy because I've never found money yet. I, I, you might be able to find money eventually. I would almost bet on it. But at the very least, I should sell some of these things that are overflowing from monster kills. Definitely not selling ancient stuff. That does seem important. Might be able to get away with selling some of these things, like amber, I find pretty often. There we go. Over 500 rupees, just like that. There we go. I think I'm gonna stop there, though. I want to keep an inventory of as many things as I can, or, or so I don't get in some kind of trouble. Hopefully I have infinite material space. I hope the new pages just keep getting added as I get more, and that my inventory is only limited for stuff like food or something. I mean, uh, not food, uh, maybe, maybe food, like cooked food, but I mean, uh, specifically I mean weapons. I'm sure you have something you'll find useful. Please, have a look. Heat-resistant elixir. I have a warmth-resistant stuff already, so let's get some of these. I'll just take all of them. There we go. Now if, now if I need to craft some uh, heat-resistant potions, I can, I'm ready. But most importantly, I have money, and I've diversified my inventory, which is also noteworthy. There we go. Because it means I have more options available to me, just in general. Alright, I don't see much of a reason to rest. 
Uh, definitely don't have. Don't know where his friends are. Don't know. Uh, yeah, generally, I'm done with these people, I think. We'll see if I can stock up that many items. Although, how much is a diamond worth versus how much is all those rushrooms worth? I don't know. Part of, me, part of me wants to do it just because it exists, of course. That's always the temptation. Oh, a quest exists. I guess we have to do it. <laughs> oh, this place is pretty and shaded. Maybe it's not so hot. Or maybe temperature's getting very high. Find a way to cool down, it'll take damage. Well, crap. How far away is that there temple? Kind of far away. Alright. Time to find a cooking fire then. Anyone need some bugs? No one needs some bugs. But what if- but I have bugs. Oh, there's a cooking fire. So at least I have what I need. So I should be able to take wintering butterflies. Let's maybe do two of them. And then mix that with a monster part. I hope. Okay, return to game. Cook! Seven minutes for a chili elixir. That's a good start. Let's try that again. Wintering butterflies. I don't know really, not sure what the proportions are. What if I added you guys? They're called icy keese wings, so are they even more chillier? <laughs> Eight, 840. Let's take a look at these. Okay, so we do get... Oh wait, that's not, a, that's not the next page of food, my bad. So the icy key swings did lead to a longer duration, apparently. Still got one more. Might as well compare. Three minutes. Okay, now we do have confirmation you can make multiple pages of cooked stuff. Neat! So I have a, uh, so one wing gave me 340. Two wings gave me 720. So it just explicitly doubles it, I think? For the two wings. So the more wings you add... Oh yeah, well, that was, a. Uh, it was double the wings and double the... Uh, the butterfly, so it's hard to compare a little bit. Chili elixir, though. Uh, same ingredients, but two ice keese wings instead of regular keese wings led to 840, so the monster ingredients can affect things. Okay, now we lo now we know things. We've learned so many of the things. Now I'm going to recklessly go sprinting into the middle of the, uh, into the middle of the de desert and hope that my, uh, heat elixir can last me, I suppose. And hopefully when I get to that nice-looking oasis, I'll be safer? We'll see. It's a chance to experiment, at the very least, I suppose. Let's see here. Let's start with the small one first, and see if I can get to the elixir- Maybe I can get to the, uh... Hey! I'm hoping to get to the, uh, what the heck? Hydromelon? Hydrating, uh, liquid inside, it provides a cooling effect that when cooked increases heat resistance. Oh, there's more of these. Okay. But I'm hoping to reach the, uh, oasis before it wears off. Who's this dude? Hi there. You look like me from here? <laughs> Brutal ladies, who? Whoa, what going on there? Oh, it's just a Hylian. Someone told me there were thieves in Gerudo Town, and I've been jumping at shadows ever since. The Emporium is open. Come one, come all. All little bits and bobs you need to spice up your dishes. Oh. That's all I've got at the moment. Restless Cricket. Stamina Recovery. Elixir. Okay, otherwise it's the basics. Gives you, gives you the ability to buy stuff like apples without having to hunt them down, I suppose, but right now I'm pretty good. And will that be all for you? Yep, that, that'll be it. So there's actually a lot of vendors around here. Is it because this is a specific trade route, I wonder? Okay, my my temperature's not gotten has not gotten worse yet. 
check, take a look at this real quick. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I thought I saw like the remains of something that that I could go inspect and loot, but it's just one of those geckos from before, pretending to be sand, rather ineffectively, I might add. Is he chasing me at all? Nah. In fact, he's outside of the rendering distance, I think, right now. Does the shade affect my temperature? Does not seem to, no. Can I grab this? That's a chest. Yeah! Uh. <laughs> That's how chests work. Sure. Why not? We're learning things. Oh, there's just birds hanging out out here. Seems risky. Who's that? Oh. Am I currently under attack, or is it just wandering around? Link! That divine beast was taken over by Ganon 100 years ago. You must find a way inside in order to free it from Ganon's malice. I believe in you, Link. Get inside? Wait. Does this game have like Shadow of Colossus dungeons? Like is the is it a giant monster you can crawl crawl on but also it's a dungeon inside or something? It says get inside. That's super weird. Okay, so I'm not under attack at least. It's just a nightmare introduction to that thing we saw in the distance a long time ago. Hi there. Nothing unusual here. Kara Kara Bazaar. I think I got warmer here too. I mean colder. This is Kara Kara Bazaar. Garuda Town is still a fair distance southwest of here. If you're headed there, you should consider resting a bit. Though you are a Vo, even if you make it to town, you won't be able to get in. All the same, the Divine Beast is kicking up a storm right now, so I don't recommend going to Garuda Town. Garuda Town? Oh. Garuda Town is to the southwest. It's the biggest town in the area. It's, a f it's famous for trade and also for staying active and vibrant all night long. However, there is a law forbidding Vo, males, from entering the city. Divine Beast. Hmm? You don't know about the Divine Beast, Vanabris? Of su Supposedly, it is the guardian deity for the Gerudo people, but it suddenly started acting up a while back. There's nothing we can do to stop it, either. It's protected by a fierce sandstorm and intense lightning. Though it hasn't yet, it could easily head to uh, toward Gerudo Town or the Oasis. I do my best to keep an eye on it from here. Thank you. Ha. Hmm? Huh. I don't need any thanks. This is my job, after all. You know, the desert is hot during the day and cold at night. It'll take the energy out of you in no time. If you plan to head out into the desert, make sure you're prepared. Oh, that is a noteworthy thing. If it gets... If I come here at night time, it'll be... It'll be dark. Is that what... Oh! So there's two beds. I bet you that the regular bed passes time and the other bed heals you. So if you do the cheap bed, it probably becomes night time. Which probably means I could safely cross the desert. Assuming it only becomes as cold as cold as it is hot, then my cold resistant tunic would actually become a, a, a fix for this place. Hello? Oh, it's Beetle. Hi, Beetle. You get around. Which is weird because you move really slowly. Hey! Ho, oh, we meet again! This heat might kill me, but not until I close the deal. Sa, sa. What are you looking for? Or are you selling? It's the same same as usual, but I, I do like that there's new dialogue. <laughs> the summer wing butterfly. Not exactly what I'd go for here. 
Yeah, I'm gonna stock up on cold darners, I think. Because I've got the money for it. And I don't wanna run- I don't wanna run out of options for dealing with the heat around here. Although I might- I might just wait for it to become nighttime. For now, I, there's a satisfaction in seeing this place during the day. Which kind of feels like the intended. Check out this place. All this stuff is fresh. Oh. So this, this she's selling cooked goods. Liz Alfo's tail. Actually, that's not that's not that's not cooked right there. It's a wriggly tail. Yeah. So it's good for. It probably makes you heal or something if it's moving around. Like it probably increases your hearts. That's the seared steak we're used to seeing and roasted bass. The usual. Can I talk to you? Good day. Huh. That's how you say it when you're where you're from, isn't it? Here we say savak. And now I know why they keep saying that. My little sister runs a butcher shop over in Gerudo Town. She's traveled all over, and she knows your language pretty well. You should stop by and... Oh, of course, you're a Vo. So you won't be able to get past the front gates. Do I need to cross-dress? Is that that we're doing that? Is that where we're going with this? Listen, I just... Oh, okay, never mind. The uh, temple is outside the town, so I don't need to go inside. I may want to, because it's probably like at a beautiful thing that's like all like heat resistant and nice and it's probably a cool place to explore. Probably have to go there at some point for story reasons, I would imagine. The heck? Doesn't that look oddly important? Interesting. I would take a look around for shrines, but I can't see anything yeah. Can't see anything past the storm. There's a tower up there. There we go. Let's see, have I come up with a naming scheme? For, I, I need to come up with something to call towers, don't I? Let's see. So crystals are mines. Leaf, skull. Towers will be... I don't know if I will use these actual icons ever. They're weapon icons. So let's make tower bows. If I make a tower... Because the idea is it's a bird's eye view. It's a vantage point. So I'll, I'll mark towers with bows from here on out. So I can keep track of where each one is in each region. I just decided, apparently, to start marking them, finally. And that's how, that tower is really close to that tower, by the way. Alright. I just feel like I should mark things proactively for the future, so I don't have to try to find them later. Oh man, this place is extensive. And there's totally something hidden in the water. Okay, my heat resistance is about to run out. Let's see how it goes. Oh yeah, I'm totally good. Look at that. Oh! Okay. So you have to stand like in the water-ish to be get that that level of not being hot that I was a second ago. It jumps pretty dramatically. Hey, Poppy, you want to fetch? You want to fetch? You want to fetch? That's okay. He's just he caught his own tail. I thought I was exciting him by levitating something, but he's just having fun. A hundred rupees. Well, I've eaten my words now, haven't I? <laughs> 